Hello and welcome to the channel, the 4E Challenge, Empowerment Through Education, Employment and Entrepreneurship. This is a channel where we talk about training, jobs and business. So when we talk about empowerment, one way to achieve this is by creating wealth. And this is what Jamaica's pride and joy, the legendary Usain Bolt, was trying to do by investing with Stocks and Securities Limited. Well, by now you must have heard that Bolt was allegedly defrauded of millions of dollars by an employee of that company. And Bolt was not the only one, as some 40 persons in all have been defrauded of their investments, amounting to some 12 million US dollars in all. The figure is still uncertain. Since the news broke, Stocks and Securities Limited has been taken over by the government regulator. Ironically, just two days before the fraud, Prime Minister Andrew Holness had this to say about Jamaica's financial system. When we look at our uh, CARICOM region, clearly Jamaica has the strongest financial market. When I talk to uh, friends and colleagues in Trinidad and in Barbados, they look on on Jamaica with great admiration uh, and they want to come and participate in Jamaica's market. The regulatory environment. And having had the experience of things that and having gone through to strengthen our regulatory environment. But more than that, in the last few years, to not just strengthen, but to deepen it, make it more appropriate for the times, and indeed, we have taken actions such as creating an independent central bank. And that has created the environment in, in which um, financial intermediation can grow. There's also another reason. In the last um, decade, we could say, there is uh, an increasing appetite for investments in Jamaica. And we're seeing that expressed in investment in infrastructure. We're seeing it expressed in investment in construction and housing, in the real estate market in particular. Uh, we're seeing that in the expansion of DPOs, we're seeing that in the expansion of several other industries. So there is a demand for the services that Pontus will supply. Your marketplace should not only be Jamaica, and that you ought to be looking regional, because there is a market to be served regionally. Jamaica's economy grew by 5.9% in the third quarter of this financial year. This would be our sixth consecutive quarter of growth. And this is coming against overlapping crises. Pandemic, which we have all seem to forgotten about the increase in uh, prices, shipping prices that we have, the supply chain crisis. But Jamaica has done this amazing thing that we have recovered quickly and we are growing. So what do you think of the Prime Minister's statement? Does Jamaica have the best financial system in the Caribbean? Is the problem at SSL just an outlier or is there a wider problem with investment companies in Jamaica? Please leave your comments below about this or any other matter. Thanks for watching. Until next time.